either you're with us, either you love freedom and with nations which embrace freedom, or you're with the enemy. When September 11th happened, which was just a few blocks away from my office, I really felt that my backyard was burning. My reaction wasn't to say, um, rah, rah, you know, you're either with us or against us. I mean, that was not my, that wasn't my inclination. My inclination was to say, okay, how can I help to contribute to cleaning up this burning backyard, given that I'm an Israeli citizen, given that I'm also Jewish, given that I'm here in New York, um, what's my role? And that was the beginning of the research that led to founding Just Vision, which um, highlights Israeli and Palestinian civilians engaged in nonviolence and conflict resolution work. I spent two years interviewing Palestinians and Israelis on the ground who were working as human rights defenders, as peace builders, as nonviolence leaders, to really understand what they needed, what they were missing, um, what they felt they could use as support from the international community. And the overwhelming response that I got was that people felt invisible. They felt that they were the only people doing the work that they were doing. They felt that nobody knew about them or cared. And they wanted access. They wanted access to the media, to their own communities, to the international public. And so after that, I was convinced that I wanted to fuse human rights work with documentary filmmaking, the creative and the political, in a way that advanced some sort of social change agenda. Our first film is called In Counterpoint. It follows the story of several people, Israeli and Palestinian, who've all lost something really precious as a result of the conflict. They lost their children, they lost their homes, they lost their lands, and yet they're pushing their communities in the direction of resolving the conflict. And you see all the obstacles they face, and the humor and the challenges. I mean, it's, a, it's ultimately a pretty hopeful film, but very raw. I realized how much I had not been exposed to, how many um, complexities my educators had failed to, to grapple with and had failed to really reveal. إن 56 سنة بنقول يلا نذبح اليهود وقاعدين نرجع لورا لا مرة واحدة خلينا نغير في أسلوبنا يمكن ينجح يمكن. Our second film is called Budrus. هاي في Budrus إنه هاي اكتشفنا إنه زدار لسال بالأراضي. And Budrus is the name of a village in the West Bank. It's a Palestinian village that was going to lose its lands as the Israeli government was building the separation barrier. And a community organizer, a dad named Ayed, decided to unite all of the Palestinian political factions. And at first he unites all the men. <laughs> And they tried to do something about it non-violently, and they failed. And then his daughter, who's 15, basically comes up to him and says, you know, Dad, where are all the women? And he said, well, if you want women, organize the women. And so she does, and she brings all the women to the front lines. He saw the men trying to push the soldiers, but none of them could do that. But I think the girls could do it. And then Israelis start to join them, and suddenly they have a nonviolent movement. And it's actually the only nonviolent movement to date that succeeded in saving Palestinian lands. Some of the top correspondents in the Middle East from CNN, from the New York Times, openly admitted they had never heard this story. We can do it! We can do it! We can do it! I think it 
think that's part of our role, is to shed light on important stories that we could be learning from, that we could be working with, that people don't necessarily know. So Just Vision is all about finding those stories, telling those stories, and making sure the world hears them.